Hello, good day, and welcome to Science Elearning Academy. In today's tutorial video, we shall be solving this problem before us. The figure below shows forces 3 newton, 10 newton, 3 roots 3 newton, and 6 newton acting on a particle P. The resultant of the four forces is so this question is a question on finding the resultant of more than two vectors and we shall solve it by vector resolution into component so we are going to solve it by resolving these vectors these forces into two components and now using the Pythagoras rule to find the resultant let's get started so we have that this is if we want to resolve this force want to resolve this word first uh, vertically want to resolve it vertically how do we go about it but to make it more convenient for us see how we are going to resolve it let us take it this way let us resolve it this way this is the vertical force fy let us resolve it down and this is fx for this, we have this as this is F Y and this is uh, F X. Finding F Y here, so what will F Y be? We say opposite from Sokatoa. So ka Sokatoa Sokatoa. To find this side, we have opposite. Remember, this is the hypotenuse. This is angle 90 degrees. The side facing angle 90 degrees is the hypotenuse. So when we look at this, we have opposite of a hypotenuse. And that is sine. Sine 30 degrees equals opposite is Fy. Hypotenuse is 10. So that Fy will be 10 sine 30 and what what is sine 30 sine 30 is sine 30 is a half so that we have that fy will be 10 times half which is 5 newton so we have found fy uh, along this direction so fy is 5 newton so when we add it now so um this uh, uh vertical component of the force what do we have so the upward vertical component we have remember look at the direction so the upward vertical component what what we now have is three to three plus five newton so we have resolved this force vertically and we have added it to this so now let us uh, resolve this vertically again. Remember, this is how this one is pointing. This is how this one is pointing. So how do we now uh, go about this? We have resolved this vertically. Then we shall resolve this again vertically. Remember, we have not touched the horizontal component. So the same thing applies here. So what we see here, we see this is opposite of a hypotenuse. Opposite of a hypotenuse sine. So we have that sine 60 equals opposite. What is opposite? Opposite is a Fy upon hypotenuse is 6. Fy, Fy is 6 sine 60. And sine 60 is root 3 over 2. That is 0 0.860. 0. So root 3 upon 2. If we divide this, it will be 3 root 3. 3 root 3. So the, the downward component of this force, the downward component of this vertical force will be 3 root 3. 3 root 3 newton. So now, let us resolve this um, horizontally let's find the horizontal component of this force so we look at this this is 
adjacent upon hypotenuse adjacent upon hypotenuse so that is cos we say cos 30 degrees is adjacent is fx upon hypotenuse is 10 so if we make fx so you have a formula cross multiplying we have 10 cos 30 degrees and what is cos 30 degrees cos 30 degrees is roots 3 upon 2 so we have cos 30 degrees is uh root 3 upon 2 so we we'll see 10 times root 3 upon 2 so if we now um, cancel this we now have 5 root 3 5 root 3 so this is 5 root 3 so what we now have for this side let us resolve this uh, horizontally again if we resolve it horizontally, remember this one will now be 3 newton plus 5 root 3 newton. So now let us resolve this horizontally again. So we now have um, this will be, uh, we we'll say adjacent, because this is the opposite. We say adjacent upon hypotenuse. So we say cos, cos 60, 60 degrees will be adjacent is fx upon hypotenuse is 6 we have that fx equals 6 cos 60 and what is cos 60 cos 60 is just half so it will be 6 uh, 6 times half so that fx will be 3 so that is 6 times half so fx will be 3 so we have 3 newton here 3 newton so how do we now find the how do we now uh, resolve it into vertical uh, and uh, find the effective value vertically and horizontally mm -hmm. using the the uh, Pythagoras rule so uh, we have been uh, able to use the idea of resolution of vectors to find other components of these uh, forces along the vertical and the horizontal component. Here we found 5 newton, here we found uh, 3 root 3 newton, here we found 5 root 3 newton, and here we found 3 newton. And remember, when two forces are in opposite direction, you subtract. When two forces are in opposite direction, you subtract meaning that the effective value of the vertical component of the force will be will just be um, 5 newton so we have uh, we have uh, 5 newton here will be what 5 newton and what will be the horizontal uh, the effective value horizontally we have this plus this minus this we are just having um, 5 root 3 this is 5 root 3. Remember, this is inclined at angle 90 degrees. Using Pythagoras rule, we can now find the resultant. We can find the magnitude now using um, Pythagoras uh, theorem, which says that the square of the hypotenuse equals the sum of the square of the two other sides. We have 5 square plus we have 5 root 3 square so when we will make our subject of the formula we have square root of 5 square plus 5 root 3 square so r now will be square root of this is 5 square will be what 5 times 5 25 plus this will be 5 square is 25 root 3 this 2 the square can cancel square root we have 3 and 3 times 25 is 75 and 25 plus 75 is 100 so that r will be square root of 100 square root of 100 is 10 
So we have 10 newton. The resultant of these uh, four forces, 3 newton, 10 newton, 3 root 3 newton, and 6 newton, acting on this particle P is 10 newton. How do we come about that? We had to resolve these forces into components and we found the effective value on the vertical component and the horizontal component. And now found the resultant using the Pythagoras uh, theorem. If you have enjoyed this video, do well to subscribe to our channel and invite your learning colleagues. You can follow us on Facebook at Science e Learning Academy. Do have a wonderful day and happy Easter.